hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this nike logo reveal animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in After Effects. Now let's create a new composition. I'll call it as Main Animation. Width I'll choose 1920 and height is 180. Frame rate is 30. Duration is also 30 seconds. And for the background color, I'll choose Solid Black and hit OK. Now go to the Choose Grid and Guide option and hit Titles Effects and Always. Now press Ctrl Y to create one solid background and for that background I will choose black color hit OK and name that layer BG and hit OK. I will lock this layer for now. Now we will choose our ellipse tool and we don't want any stroke for it so I will delete this stroke and we want white color for it so I will choose white color over here. Now by holding shift I will create one ellipse over here. After that, select this ellipse, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Now go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Now press S for scaling option and scale it a little bit. Just like this. Now hit Ctrl D on keyboard to create one copy. Now press S for scaling option and scale it over here. Something like this. Yeah. Now press V for selection tool and I'll drag this circle over here for now. Now hit Ctrl I on keyboard to import our logo file. I'll select this logo, hit import. I'll drag this logo in my composition. Press S for scaling option and scale it something like this. Select this circle, press S for scaling option and scale it something over here. Select this circle and move it over here. Just like this. Now, our things are almost ready. We will hide this two over here. We will animate first this circle. Now press S for scaling option. Initially, I will make it zero and create one keyframe. Zoom in a little bit. Go to the 1.10 frames. I'll make it 175 or 157 maybe and I'll create another keyframe. Now select those keyframes, hit F9, go to the graph editor, select this graph editor and by holding shift I'll drag this uh, handle over here so we'll get this smoother animation. After that I'll enable this shape layer. At this point, press P for position property and create one keyframe over here. And initially, go to the align tab, align it vertically so it will come at the center. Now, select those keyframes again, hit F9, go to the graph editor, select this graph editor, and by holding shift, I'll drag it over here. Now, select this shape layer, press S for scaling option. Initially, let's make it zero create one keyframe after a few frames I'll again make it 46 select those keyframes and hit F1 if I hit play we will get something like this now after that I'll create one null object make sure that the null object it has the center now select this shape layer make it apparent with this null one just like this and some at one second i'll uh, select this null one press r for rotation property create one keyframe over here and up to 2.5 seconds make it one complete rotation so it will rotate like this or instead of one let's say minus one now select those sorry select those keyframes hit f9 
go to the graph editor select this graph editor by holding shift I'll adjust this handle something like this now after this select this circle press P for position property create one keyframe over here after few keyframes and drag this over here just like this now we will enable this option so we can only see this circle select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph then by holding shift i'll adjust this circle something like this move this keyframes a little bit closer now i'll enable this option now make select our logo unhide that logo now drag it over here and make it apparent with this shape layer make sure that you are parenting this uh, nike logo at the last frame of this circle and after that if we see we will drag this logo over here you want then you can increase the length between these two keyframes now after that select this shape layer hit ctrl d drag it over here select this nike logo press f4 and we will choose alpha matte option so we'll get this kind of animation So yep, this is our logo animation. Now we need to add few things over here. So for that, what I will do, I will select this our circle, hit enter, and I'll call it as white circle. Hit Control D, hit enter, and I'll call this one as a black circle. As we can see, we need to select this one and we'll call it as black. Uh, so we will change the color of this one. Now choose this shape layer, hit Ctrl D, drag it over here, select this black circle and choose alpha map. So if I play now, we will get this kind of option. We will get some a little color blending over here. Now at this point, we will choose both of them alt close bracket because we don't need them anymore now we need to add some extra elements in our animation so for that what i'll choose go with i'll choose my pen tool i'll create one stroke over here to here i don't want any fill so i'll leave the fill only thing i want over here is stroke and for the stroke color i'll choose white color Control Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the Add menu and add zigzag over here. Go to this zigzag. Increase the size. Corner I choose Smooth and over here I choose File. Now after that we need to animate Trim Path over here. Go to the Trim Path option. Make sure that your trim path is over here, not about zigzag or anything. And go to the trim path initially. Let's make it zero. Create one keyframe over here and one keyframe over here. Zoom in a little bit. Go over here. Make it 100. This one also 100. Select those start keyframes and drag it over here. Select those keyframes. Hit F9. Go to the graph editor. Select this graph and by holding shift. I'll drag it over here. So if I hit play, we'll get this kind of animation. By holding Alt, I'll drag it up to here. Now after that, I'll go to the content, go to the add, 
add repeater now go to the repeater option first go to the transform of repeater 1 position i'll make it 0 copies let's say 20 or oh, not 20 but let's say 10 and for the in rotation i'll type 360 divided by 10 so they will go with equally distributed now after this you will select the shape layer and at this point press s for scaling option create one keyframe and at this point let's make it increase the size select those keyframes set f9 go to the graph editor and just like this and like this adjust the keyframes you can move those keyframes over here if i hit play now we will get this simple logo reveal animation now select the circle over here and delete the fill and only thing i want over here is stroke hit u go to over here now i'll select this scale over here so with the help of that we will select all our keyframes and i'll increase the scale so if i hit play now with this kind of things now after that i'll simply drag this thing up to here just like this now we need to do some more tweaks over here select the shape layer hit enter i'll call it as white stroke hit ctrl d hit enter and i'll call it as black stroke so now select the shape layer hit ctrl d drag it over here select the shape black shape and i'll choose alpha mat option select this black stroke and make sure your the stroke color is black and hit ok so if i hit play now we will get this kind of animation hit u now after that select all of them press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as animation and hit ok now hit ctrl d few times go to the start select this fourth one i'll enable this option and after that go to the effect and presets panel and apply tint effect on it and you can simply hit swap colors or something but we are not swapping these colors instead of white color i'll choose red color over here now select this tint press ctrl c i'll select this one hit ctrl v instead of red color i'll choose green color hit ok select the second circle not circle but animation hit ctrl v i'll choose blue color just like this now after that we will simply adjust these things like this if i hit play now we will get this kind of animation so this is our simple logo reveal animation
So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then please consider to subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon for more updates. Until then, stay tuned.